used to live at first no, and now Vernon. You can't see it from Route 9. This is more close to Sewer Road. Oh, okay. Then there was another one that was in that same neck of the woods. Yeah, but I think off of Mount Vernon, you know, there was the one down that way. There was okay. one, one down, but I guess they got the work cut out for him today because this thing's just been shipped across the road. <laughs> and God bless those guys. They must have a lot of work because of that. I, mean, yeah, I know those, I, I know a three that came down, three trees that came down, but this thing is scaring me because half of it's still left. And it looks like it's pretty precarious what's left, so I don't know what to do about that because the house is a foreclosure, so. Well, what I would, yeah, maybe uh, the better thing to do is just to reach out to Northfield Police, make them aware of the situation, and see what they can do about getting... Uh, oh, yeah, they're on the job. Oh, okay, they, there you they, go. Yeah, they, they, those guys go above and beyond. Yeah, they, they really do. In fact, I, I remember when uh, I had the same situation at first in Mount Vernon, and uh, Public Works came out where the, you know, big old oak tree, and it just came down in a thunder and lightning storm. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate it didn't hit any cars, but it did, uh, you know, was blocking part of the road. So, <laughs> it's, it's scary. It's quite a sight. Okay, well, listen, I hope, uh, hope everybody has a good